Hey guys, welcome to the next video in my tips and strategies and uh, I'm going to put up just a couple more tips here and we're going to kind of look at uh, what I'm saying and then I'll kind of show you from inside the game uh, exactly what I'm talking about and uh, one tip I did not uh, write up here was basically uh, the tunnels, uh, the tunnels in particular, but we'll end up kind of looking at that uh, a little bit later on. So. Really only just, uh, I think, four things I wrote down here. Uh, and this first one is not really a huge tip. Uh, if you play the game, you, even if, uh, it only takes probably, even for a noob, uh, maybe ten games to kind of figure out, like, I mean, I really got to be aware of this circle. Uh, that is true. You really need to not only be aware of the circle, but also be conscious about how you're going to get to the circle. Now for me, I like to always run. I don't like to have to get into a vehicle, especially late in the game. So at the end of the day, all I'm really kind of saying here is always have a plan. The moment that circle hits, have a plan, look at your map and make sure you kind of map out exactly what your immediate plan is going to be. Is it get into a vehicle? Is it run? Um, or even is it swim? Which <laughs> we'll look at but anyway okay be prepared to heal this is actually something more along the lines of near the end of the game when you're outside the blue zone you're going to take a ton of damage now depending on how many med kits you have or not med kits but like first aid kits bandages uh, painkillers energy drinks um, all of those things will help to sort of dictate um, about how you're able to approach the circle. Uh, if you don't have them or you don't have a lot of them, then you're going to need to make a beeline to get straight to the circle. If you have a lot of stuff, then you can kind of take your time a little bit. Um, not at the very end of the game, but uh, even near the end, you can kind of take your time, get into the position that you want to be uh, as long as you've got enough stuff. And we'll look at that as well. Um, stay out of small buildings near the end of the game. I can't stress this enough, guys. It is always, always better. Um, if you are out in an open area and there's like one building, I call them lone buildings, whether it's a small building or even if it's a bigger building, um, you want to make sure that you are not getting into those buildings unless it's advantageous. And it's very rare that it's advantageous for you to do that. Um, you're going to draw sort of a beacon to yourself. People are going to be looking there. Um, it's going to be difficult for you to get in and out of the building. Um, because everyone's going to kind of see it. And if you jump through a window, you're going to break glass. Now you just told everybody in the area, hey, you know, I'm over here. Um, so do your best trying not to get into buildings. Uh, and then we're going to look real quick at the do's and don'ts when you're approaching a building that you think somebody is in. Uh, even if you know they're in there, even if you don't know they're in there, uh, when you're approaching a building, some of the things that you should do and, and what you shouldn't do. So with that, let's jump into it. Alrighty guys, so we're going to jump into a game, and uh, this is not a game I won, but there are a few things that kind of happen in this game that I just kind of want to make mention of. So we're going to fast forward, I'm going to show you where I ended up, and I'm up here in the northeast, and uh, this is where a bunch of us had actually dropped. So I'm going to go ahead and set it to two times, and I'm going to show you something really quick here uh, of what ends up happening. There is a guy down here, and his name is Linux. He and I both have the exact same idea. Um, I'm up here, and I start taking off. The whole reason I take off, and I like going up here, is I can usually find some, some good things to kind of start the game with. Unfortunately, this game, all I had was an Uzi and a shotgun. Now, I'm looking at the next circle. I, I know it's going to be an island circle, so I've got to get going. That's all I truly know. Linux has the same idea. He says, you know what, uh, we don't have time to kind of engage anybody. I don't have time to um, raid any other buildings. i got to look for a vehicle. So he and I are both connecting here, and we're both doing the same thing. So I run in here real quick just to see if I can find anything else. I don't. And so I run out of this building right as I do. I see Linux and I take off running. And the whole reason is I do not want to engage this guy. I've got an Uzi and a shotgun. I can't get into any kind of ranged fight with this guy. So 
I'm pretty sure that what he's going to do is exactly what he did. He was going to approach the building. He was going to think that I was going to try to get into a fight with him. He's not aware that what I'm doing is actually trying to flank him, come around the side. And I actually moved back up the hill because I wanted to see if he was going to try to work his way around the building because I was pretty sure he didn't know where I was. And I'm pretty much assuming at this point you know he he is where he is and so I take off running he ends up hearing me but he's not sure if I'm trying to come down over here he finally sees me at the last second and he almost gets me down but he doesn't quite get me down I've got a little bit of an incline where he can't see me from his location so I lay down use a first aid kit and I take off running and the whole reason is I know I cannot get into a fight with this guy um, he's going to get me down I don't have the weapons to get into a fight so he's definitely trailing me he does some more damage I'm bobbing and weaving I'm trying to make sure I don't get hit uh, I don't stop to heal at this point and part of that is because all I have is bandages I don't have any first aid kits so long and short of it is I'm just kind of booking it I'm running I was trying to get up here turns out the ape of doom was up here and I wasn't able to catch him or get his vehicle Linux at this point knows that I haven't stopped running and he's now worried that he's not going to be able to find a vehicle um, so he disengages and he takes off so what I'm going to do is fast forward um, I had found a first aid kit at this point. Uh, I had used one of them. I think I had one more, but I ended up using the uh, bandages that I still had. And this early in the game, the damage you're taking, it's not enough damage um, to really be a huge factor. So if you've got bandages, just make sure you go ahead and use them. And so that's what I was doing because I knew I was going to make the next circle. The next circle wasn't going to be a problem. So that circle ends, now the next circle hits, and I set my location to come down, and I want to end up over here near these buildings. Lo and behold, guess who else is here? It's Linux. Uh, this guy has actually found a vehicle, he's worked his way down, Now he's not aware at all that it's actually me, uh, unless he went back and watched the replay. And so what I do is I'm not interested. I had found some better stuff um, in the other buildings, so I'm not interested in raiding anymore. I'm not trying to loot. So I just hop into here to kind of heal up. And I'm looking at the circle, and I'm realizing where I got to go. So I've got my vehicle. I kind of want to heal up. I want to see if anybody else is actually going to come around. So I'm kind of just waiting uh, just to kind of see what's going to happen, to see if people start coming this way. And lo and behold, uh, Linux ends up moving down. He, he moves around, and I hear him. So I hear this guy coming. So once I'm in my spot, I don't want to just jump out. I want to see where this guy is going because he may end up taking my vehicle. If he does, he might be a really easy kill. And he makes a mistake. He comes around the corner here. He's looking for me because he knows that I was probably somewhere in the area. I end up getting a headshot on him. Uh, from inside this building as he comes around the corner and he kind of panicked a little bit he started to take off running and what he needed to do was once he got past here he needed to just turn around and fight me because he knew where I was uh, and I was gonna have to come out uh, he didn't do that so it sort of is what it is so we're gonna fast forward real quick and just show you um, sort of ways not to approach a building okay so at this point um, there it turns out there was nobody in these th this area, which I wish I had known. But I drove past here, kind of hoping that I would end up um, taking fire. And if I took fire, then I would know that it, it wasn't safe to approach these buildings. I would kind of see who was engaging. So I go to the top of the hill, but I have no intention of getting out at the top of the hill. I know that there's going to be people up there. So. I make my way back down. I took some damage from scene over here. I jump into this building. I get healed up. Now, I don't know why, but for some reason, the um, it, it's not showing. Okay, well, it's actually showing that door open. 
Sometimes it doesn't show the, the buildings being open or the uh, doors being open. Uh, and I don't know why. So I close that door. I can hear this joker coming. And here's the thing, guys. When you're approaching a building, especially when you know that there's somebody in there, what you got to remind yourself is the guys on the inside, they can hear you. Uh, they know you're coming. So you've got to approach the building in a way that's going to be to your advantage. Now, this is a unique building because it's got this fence. So uh, he's going to be able to vault over anywhere that he goes, but it doesn't matter where he goes. I'm going to hear him. So what would have been better would have been for this guy to kind of approach this door, maybe even shoot out the door from an angle, but he could have opened up the door and chucked in a grenade. But he didn't do that. Instead, he works his way around and is trying to look through the windows. Now, I'm looking this way currently, but I can hear him. So once I realize, like, okay, he's, uh, he's, he's, well, he's past the door, I get the guy down. So when he approaches this building, he would have been so much better off approaching it in sort of a different way. Um, trying to shoot out the doors, chucking in some grenades, um, doing this, doing that, you know, a number of different things that he could have done that he didn't do. Uh, so the end result from this game ends up being, I end up getting fourth place. I take out one more guy who comes down to the building. The, the next guy actually did a better job in approaching the building uh, and getting into a fight with me. Uh, and he ends up not really making a mistake. Uh, we just end up getting into close quarters combat, and uh, I end up taking him out. And I end up actually dying from the blue zone, from the circle, uh, because I have to get into a fight with a guy who shows up into here, and I take too much damage. I have to stop and heal up, and it is not enough. And um, I don't make the circle. So I end up getting fourth place, uh, but it was a good game. It was a fun game. And uh, so let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Alrighty, guys. So in this game, I end up dropping up into this area over here, which is a place that I, I really do like to go uh, just because of the versatility that it offers me, me to get some stuff uh, as well as get to a vehicle if I need it. And not going to spend a lot of time here. We're just going to go ahead and fast forward quite a bit. Alrighty guys, so as you can see, uh, we're moving over to this area now. This is where I'm going to end up. I'm taking damage from the blue zone. Uh, it's not a ridiculous amount of damage. It's enough to, um, I, I'm, I'm definitely going to need to heal up. And it turns out that I almost die. Now I assume that there's gonna be somebody in these buildings, because there usually is, especially because it's in the next circle. And it turns out there wasn't anybody. Otherwise I would have just stopped there and, and healed up. Uh, as I'm coming along, I end up seeing this guy jump out of his vehicle, and I don't want to take any fire from him, so I almost wreck. So I try to avoid him, and instead of him shooting at me, there's a guy up on the hill there, and he was shooting at uh, Ryan Claw over there. Now, what you're going to see happen is where I'm ending up, there's a guy over here. Uh, which I assume there probably would be. So I'm coming around the back here, and now look how much damage I almost take. Look at the sliver of health. You could sneeze on me at this point, and I will die. Uh, <laughs> and I end up healing up. And I can hear somebody on the outside. So the moment I'm in here, I realize, okay, there's somebody right outside. So I'm healing up. I'm taking my painkillers. Uh, I'm trying to get my health back. And I know that somebody knows that I'm here. I had been in the Jeep. Uh, they would have heard me go into the building. And the guy almost saw me. I almost died immediately from him. So what ends up happening is I'm not making any noise now. I'm just trying to sit in here, get my health back, because I know I'm about to get into a fight. Because whoever's out here keeps moving. Uh, they keep running around. So this guy decides, you know what, uh, I don't hear anything. I'm going to go ahead and grab this Jeep and move up. The moment I hear the Jeep, I jump out of the... Uh, the little room that I'm in, I, I 
run straight outside. And I get this guy down with a couple headshots. And it turns out this guy had a ton of goodies. He had a bunch of med kits. He had um, uh, some painkillers. He had uh, uh, the energy drinks. He had everything that I needed to get. And to top it all off, the guy actually had an AUG. He had been to one of the uh, airdrops. And so I pick up the AUG. So... I get a ton of goodies off this guy, and so now I'm set, and um, that will play a factor in a little while. So I'm going to show you real quick something that you just need to be aware of if you're sort of new to the game. Uh, I'm not dogging this guy. He's making a mistake that um, most people make when they, when, they, when they play PUBG, at least early on. Okay, so this guy is just not aware of the circle. Uh, he's just not aware of it. And what I mean by that is he's obviously within the current circle. So as the blue line is coming in, it's going to end up setting the next circle. This guy is on the opposite side. He is on the island. And here's what you've got to do if you're in the situation. You've, you've got to cross the water. You've got to either go over the bridge. You're going to have to swim it. You're going to have to find a boat. You're going to have to do something. That's not what this guy's doing. He is actually just still looting at this point. And he actually had uh, some okay things. Uh, it's not like he didn't have enough. He had obviously taken some damage earlier. He had been in a fight. And he makes a really bad decision and kind of going this way. He's at first looking for a vehicle. He ends up coming down to these buildings, and the problem with that is he starts looting these buildings. And it's like, buddy, you can't do that. You're, you're past the point of no return. You either get through the circle or you don't. And I'll end the suspense. Uh, what basically happens to this guy? This is where the next circle is. He's got to get here. He's got to. He's going to take too much damage, and he does not. He ends up dying right here in the water because he can't find a vehicle. He doesn't have enough time to swim it, and he ends up just uh, losing when he didn't really need to because at the moment that the new circle hit, if he would have had two and a half minutes. He would have had enough time to get up here. So I'm going to fast forward a little bit here. You can kind of see Cartman, there he is, but it's going to be too late. Here comes the blue line, and he gets taken out. So I've now worked my way from where I've been, and I've got some good gear. I'm kind of in, in really good shape for this game. And I'm, at this point, trying not to get into buildings. Um, I don't want to get into a building. I, I don't really care whether there's something else inside that would, you know, would benefit me. I know that I've got enough stuff to get me to the end of the game. So the next circle comes in. And we will, I will show you where this next circle ends up being. And there's good old Cartman. And poor guy gets taken out. So we're going to see where this next circle is. And it is right up here. So this is where I made a really good decision. But part of that decision that I make is because of how many med kits I had. Uh, and all the boosts and, and everything that I had. So I've got a couple options to get to the circle. Now, like I said before in the other videos, most players know where, they know the terrain. Here's what I don't want to do. I don't want to go through the farm. I know that there's always people in the farm. That's going to be a straight shot in, but here's the problem. This is an open area. Uh, this area and then right here. Anybody who's up on this ledge is going to see me. Anybody up there. In a perfect world, I would love to be over on this side coming down off of this hill. Uh, it's just not going to be an option. So what I decide is I know at this point I'm going to be taking damage. I'm not going to make it to the circle in time. But it's okay because I've got enough med kits. So the circle ends up closing. You'll kind of see it from my perspective. I'm going to end up taking a, a lot of damage and there's... I heard a bunch of gunfire over on this side, so I knew there were a bunch of people over here, but it just didn't make any difference because I knew where I was trying to get to. I wanted to get to the top of this hill. That's where I was trying to go. 
So you can kind of see it from my perspective and you'll see how much damage I start taking once the circle actually hits the new one. So I stop, I heal up, and I start to move up again and I know I'm gonna take another med kit, but it doesn't make any difference at this point. I know I've got enough. So I stop, I take another med kit. I almost die actually, I, I didn't time it as exactly right. But something else I do right here is I know how close I am to the blue circle, so I go ahead and I take my painkillers before I make the circle. Because painkillers, you have more uh, time that uh, it lasts. So what I want to do is get to this circle and then just take one more first aid kit. So if I can go ahead and take the painkillers before I make the blue circle, uh, I don't have to waste time when I actually make it to the circle. So at this point, you can kind of see where this next circle is and it ends up being pretty decent for me it's not a bad spot so what I do is I move down and here's my greatest concern at the moment I know that there are going to be people over on this side the problem with people up on this ridge is when they look down at where I'm at they're not going to see any foliage at all all they're going to see is just me laying there so I use the rock to block myself from being seen by anybody up on this ridge. Now we're going to show you real quick something that you just you just don't want to do this late in the game. Now Wally World has decided to put himself into this building. You do not want to be in one of these what I call lone buildings. They're buildings that are by themselves. They're also not very big. He gets into a fight down here with Steve Box. And Steve does a good job in kind of positioning himself. He knows where Wally is, and Wally's just in a world of hurt. Wally is, uh, he's limited in what he can actually do. He, he, if he comes out this door, Steve's going to see him. If he jumps out these windows, Steve's going to know that he came out on the other side. There's nothing that this guy can do to kind of hide himself at this point. I mean, there's just nothing that he can do. And long and short of it is, what Wally does is he opens up this door, comes out, gets into a fight with Steve, and Steve's just, he's able to get him down. Now, the whole time, there was actually Sheppy Sage, and he was up here on the hill, and he was looking, and he might have even gotten Wally down as well. So, he ends up shooting Steve. It's not enough to get Steve down. Steve says, I'm gone. And so he takes off. Now, at this point, there's eight of us left. I'm still over here. I know that the next circle is coming, but I'm waiting as long as possible to cross this because I don't want anyone up on this uh, hill to see me. So I end up running over. I get down as quickly as I can. And I'm, I, I realize as well, if you can kind of see where I'm at, I'm blocked from a lot of where these guys are up on the hill. Um, and Sheppy just got uh, sniped uh, by Sionti. Um, but I'm using the terrain there. Uh, anybody who's over there, I'm going to actually be able to see at this point. Uh, and they're not really going to have a clear line of sight on me. So we get down to seven of us. Next circle ends up coming in. And we'll just fast forward a little bit. So the last thing I kind of want to tell you, do's and don'ts. Okay, so where we have ended up. This is the area that has the tunnels underneath. Well, guess what? Creep Lord is down here in the tunnels. And it is not going to end well for Creep Lord. Um he has really put himself in a bad situation as you can tell <laughs> this poor guy he's down here and the circle is coming in so you're going to see it from his perspective this is about the worst possible thing that could happen to this guy and he <laughs> has just put himself in the worst spot because he can't get to an exit at this point so the circle ends up closing here it comes over here it's going to end up coming over here and he's going to be alive for the moment, but what ends up happening is Creep Lord. Oh, he just makes a terrible decision on. 
basically being in the tunnels. If you're going to be in the tunnels, you've got to be able to get out of the tunnels. So at this point as well, just so you can kind of see it from my perspective, um, I actually just took out Steve Box. He is over here. We know where the next circle is, and he's trying to do a good job and I take him down with the AUG. Uh, he's trying to come over and hug the blue line. The problem was I was already there. So I end up taking him down, get back to Creep Lord here, and just so you can kind of just see it from his perspective, this guy is completely surrounded. So what he ends up doing is he tries to take some painkillers, takes an energy drink, there's a fight going on up top, and <laughs> this is just, this poor guy, it's too much damage, you can't survive it, so he even, he takes the stuff that he needs, he even tries to use a first aid kit, but it's just not going to be enough. So, what ends up happening, so you can kind of see it from my perspective, now I can hear the gunfight taking place on the other side. So I know where two of the people are, I don't know where the fourth person is, the fourth person is actually Creep Lord. And you'll see from uh, my perspective, we go from four players down to two players instantly. And the moment that happens, play zone kills Creep Lord, Sionti ends up taking out Smoked. I advance up to the circle. Now I'm in a really good spot for this next circle because I'm in the center of it. So I know that I'm going to end up hearing, no matter where uh, the last guy is, any direction that he's coming, I'm going to hear it. I've also got this incline, so this guy isn't going to be able to see me, and I know from the gunfire earlier that he's on the other side. I know that. So I go ahead and just chuck a grenade in the general area, and uh, it was actually pretty close to where Sionti was. I see movement, and I'm able to get Sionti down, and the reason he almost got to that tree if I had an M4 or an AKM, I, he probably doesn't go down, uh, but if you're using the AUG or the Groza, they do so much damage that I'm just able to get the guy down uh, before he's able to get there. So I end up getting the chicken dinner, and you know, a couple things I did really, really well this game was just making that decision earlier when I was down here, uh, knowing that I had enough med kits and enough health that I was going to be able to take a, a ton of damage uh, from the circle and I was still going to make it. So if I had come any other way, I'm probably going to run into somebody who's going to see me uh, and I'm, I'm going to get taken out. So this game uh, was a really good game. It, uh, I enjoyed uh, this game, especially having the AUG. Uh, the AUG is such a great gun. So that's going to do it uh, for this video. So thanks for watching, guys, and we will catch you next time. See you.